From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Before we dive into the weirdness, I want to congratulate Adriel Railton. She's last month's winner from the Marlar Sheet giveaway. Adriel will be receiving a Weird Darkness t-shirt and a coffee mug. This month I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and coffee mug, so everybody who signs up for my newsletter, the Marlar Sheet, is automatically registered to win, and you can sign up now at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Is there a smell that we can all agree is just horrible? Uh, yes, a British survey found the smell of a wet dog is something we can do without. Wet dog beat out cheesy socks as the top stink. Worst smell of all, though, was wet dog wearing cheesy socks. Now TV is reconsidering a reboot of All in the Family and The Jeffersons. How is this possible with the snowflakes that are living in this country right now? I mean, they're offended by everything, and they immediately pick it when their feelings are hurt. The Jeffersons and All in the Family? They're two of the most racist shows ever to be on American television. You gotta remove all the offensive stuff? You can't! If you take away everything that would be considered offensive in today's world from these shows, all you would have left are the opening theme songs and then the ending credits. You've heard about Nordstrom's $425 pre-muddied jeans, right? Well, Reebok is poking fun at it with its $425 pre-sweat-stained sweatshirt. And you don't even want to know what Pampers is now selling. You can fawn over your dog all you want to, but legally speaking, a Canadian judge says your dog is not your child. That ruling came as part of a pet custody battle in a divorce case, and the wife wants the couple's two dogs, Kenya and Willow, to live with her, with visitation privileges for her ex. The husband, described by the wife as a cat person, disagrees. So the matter ended up in the courtroom of Judge Richard Danielik who was outraged at the couple for wasting scarce judicial resources. In his decision, he wrote that where Kenya and Willow should live would be like arbitrating the family butter knives. Am I to make an order that the other party have limited access to those knives for 1.5 hours per week to butter his or her toast? Dogs are wonderful creatures, he writes, but after all is said and done, a dog is a dog. But for now, the dogs are staying with the wife's parents. In a Solomon-like move, Danielik warns that failing to settle the matter could result in the dogs being sold and the proceeds split. You know what, maybe the dog can file for emancipation and be rid of these two jerks. A burglar was caught on camera breaking into a Long Island salad shop, eating nearly a dozen bananas and passing out on the floor. The robber dropped his driver's license before stumbling out of the sexy salad at around 1.45 in the morning. Okay, now I know you're not supposed to assume, but I'm guessing there might be a very slight chance with this story that alcohol may have been involved. Just a guess. The Sun reports Americans spend a whopping six hours a day gossiping. That's the findings of an independent national poll from all 50 states about the time they spend dishing dirt. Not surprisingly, women gossip more than men, logging in six and a half hours daily talking to friends about subjects from their husbands to celebrities to other friends, but men aren't exactly silent. The guys put in an average of five and a half hours. Their subjects were most likely to be their bosses, co-workers, and sports figures. The Sun is reporting this, though. Is it The Sun a gossip magazine? A new study out says that teens who use smartphones and tablets at least five hours a day increase their chances of obesity by 43 percent. Apparently, all those food picks really pack on the pounds. A recent study indicates that America is facing a critical shortage on clowns. The report found that membership at the country's largest trade organizations for the jokesters has plunged over the past decade. Officials say membership in other clown organizations has also plummeted. Well, how is this distressing news, though? I mean, I would think a world with fewer clowns would be much less distressing. But, but then my, my first clown experience was from Stephen King, so… A NASA scientist is warning that the Earth is woefully unprepared for a surprise comet or asteroid strike. Well, of course we're not prepared. You just said it's a surprise! 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Be sure to join me for my first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up this Saturday, May 6th, 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A. I'll have a giveaway or two. I might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's this Saturday, May 6th. Hope you can join me. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!